and welcome to this episode where I'm going to share with you how to navigate the autumn clock change when we put our clocks back one hour. So stay tuned and I'm going to reveal three different ways that you can navigate this change with your little one to protect their sleep. So autumn is upon us and in a few countries here in the UK and I know in the US it's a week later but we put our clocks back for daylight savings we put them back by one hour and for some children this can really disrupt their routine it does depend a little bit on how sensitive your child is to time some um, won't really notice a difference but the younger ones babies when they're on uh, more of a schedule and they have their naps to consider and meal times that one hour can make a massive difference so what can you do I have three ways that you can make the move to the new clock time this autumn. The first one, number one, is the gradual approach. You can take it gradually. So if you're going to do this, you need to start on the Wednesday night when the clocks are going to change in the night on the Saturday night, Sunday morning. Okay, so the Wednesday night you start and you're going to move bedtime. We're going to move bedtime forward, so later, you're going to move bedtime later by 15 minutes each night. Okay, so Wednesday night, so if bedtime is normally 7 p.m., I like using 7 because it's easy, it's pretty universal, it's a good bedtime for a lot of children. If bedtime is usually 7 p.m., on Wednesday, we're going to push them to 7.15. On Thursday, we're going to make it 7.30. On Friday, we're going to make it 7.45. And then by Saturday night, they're going to bed at 8 p.m. And you might think, what? That's way too late. But that 8 p.m. is going to be the new 7 p.m. by the next day because the clock's going to go back an hour. Okay, do you see what I did there? So by going to bed at 8 p.m. on Saturday, the amount of sleep they have in the night time should mean when they wake up in the morning after their usual regular night sleep, it's the same correct time on the clock come morning. So if they normally sleep for ease of numbers, 12 hours, and they normally wake up at 7 a.m., they're still gonna wake up at 7 a.m. on the clock because the clocks went back an hour in the night. Make sense? So they don't lose any sleep, and we've made a gradual transition from the Wednesday. So that's your gradual move, and if you're gonna do that, you need to be prepared because you need to start the Wednesday before the clock change. Number two is to meet in the middle. Now, by meeting in the middle, what you're doing is you're taking the new time, the old time, and you're just meeting in the middle. So on Saturday night for bedtime, if bedtime's normally seven, and we don't want to push them all the way to eight, we just go for 7.30. Split the difference. Put them to bed half an hour later, rather than that full hour later on Saturday night. This is okay if your child is you know, possibly going to notice the hour but isn't really, really sensitive to the intricacy and the, and the, you know, the real difference. If you have the kind of child that is likely to, just by going to bed half an hour later, be really overtired, be exhausted come bedtime, bedtime battles, or if they're the kind of child that's likely to wake up ultra early because they've gone to bed late, this isn't the move for you. You need to take it more gradually. Some children will do that. You know, half an hour later to bed is going to mean overtired, which often means early wake up in the morning. Crazy, I know, but it does. For some other children, they would just lay in and make up the hours. I have one of each, by the way. My children have one that is like rigid and the other one who will make up the hours. So, yeah, you have to, you have to take the right approach for the right child. So the third option for you, number three for you today is cold turkey, all in one, you just go for it in one go, <laughs> all in one go. So that means that you carry on as normal through the week and then on Saturday night, you go to bed an hour later. Movie night. <laughs> um, this is probably better for the slightly older child, not so much the sensitive ones, um, but an older child who can cope with going to bed an hour later without being an emotional wreck <laughs> with exhaustion. Um, and that is also likely to still sleep their usual length of night sleep without waking up ultra early as a consequence of the late night. Again, mine are one of each. If I did that with one of them, oh, he'd be up super early because he went to bed late. The other one, she'd probably have a lie-in and just do her normal hours anyway. 
They're all different, so you need to pick the strategy that best suits your child's character traits and temperament, but you have three options. So just to recap, you've got the gradual option, push bedtime later by 15 minutes each evening, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, and then Saturday. Option two is to meet in the middle and just go for a half an hour later bedtime on Saturday night. Option three, all in one go, just move bedtime an hour later on Saturday night, and that's that. Now, what you need to be aware of is it can take some little ones a whole week to adjust just to this one hour difference. So if things seem a little off kilter for the next week after the clock change, if your child seems a bit more tired or you know a little out of sorts, it could be that it is affecting them, a lot like jet lag, um, and just give them that week. But what you need to do to help them make this transition over the course of the week and to get into the new time is just be really consistent with the new bedtime. So once you get onto Sunday, be super consistent, have that same bedtime every evening so that they can adjust and get used to it. And you're going to adjust meal times accordingly as well. That will really help. And within a week, you'll hopefully be back to normal. If you do get stuck though, of course you can reach out to us here at The Sleep Nanny. Leave your comments below and leave your questions below as well because we will respond to them and give you a steer as best we can. And don't forget, we're here to help. Anytime, reach out, we're here for you. Enjoy falling backwards this autumn. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag TheSleepNanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.